What's up everybody? Today we're going to compare and contrast two of the most sought after residential neighborhoods in DC. AU Park, Tenley Town and Chevy Chase, DC. Both incredible places to live, but they have their differences. So we're gonna go through it all. So let's just dive right in. So let's first look at the numbers. And then after we go through some of the numbers, I'm gonna go into the differences between Chevy Chase and AU Park. We're gonna drive through them so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. We'll talk about restaurants and parks and schools and crime and all that stuff. So first of all, let's just talk about the population because AU Park is much smaller than Chevy Chase. And AU Park is about 7,000 residents, whereas Chevy Chase DC has about 20,000 residents. It encompasses a much bigger area. They both get an A plus rating from niche.com. And as you can see here, AU Park has a medium home value of just over a million dollars, ranked number two of the best neighborhoods to raise a family in DC, number 19 for best neighborhood to live in DC, and number 73 out of 118 for the next best neighborhoods for young professionals in DC. It's got an A rating as far as crime and safety, and the median household income is somewhere around $197,000. The median home value in Chevy Chase, D.C. is approximately a million seventy-two thousand. And as you can see here on niche.com, they're giving it a B minus for crime and safety, but I do urge you to check a lot of different sites because this is just one website's opinion. Then rated number nine as far as best neighborhoods to raise a family in D.C., number 26, best neighborhoods to live in D.C., and number 59 out of 118 for best neighborhoods for young professionals in D.C all according to niche.com. Total income in Chevy Chase DC is about 175,000. So not that different from AU Park. So let's jump into the car so I can show you a little bit of AU Park and Chevy Chase DC. I'll tell you a little bit about each one and then we'll end with more facts, restaurants, parks, um, how close it is to Metro, how, you know, what kind of transport you have. And by the end, you'll know everything you need to know about AU Park and Chevy Chase. American University Park is a unique neighborhood for housing a major university and it's all its cultural perks, but still with a very small town feel. Housing in AU Park, it snapped up really fast. The easy commute into the city combined with a bit more square footage than you'll find in subdivisions closer to the city center gives residents all the fun of the big city living without a lot of the hassles that come with it. AU Park streets are residential lined with tree shaded sidewalks picket fences, and back alley spaces. The neighborhood stock of colonials and bungalows is built close together with front porches and interconnected front yards, so you'll often find neighbors socializing out or strolling the neighborhood. AU Park is within, is within walking distance to a cluster of restaurants, shops, and a Whole Foods, and is really convenient to Tenley Town Metro for commuting to work. The residents tend to be welcoming and civic-minded, from organizing alley block parties to taking active part in neighborhood issues. AU Park residents embrace the neighborhood's simplicity and lack of ostentation. It's pretty normal to find back alley barbecues, neighborhood get-togethers, and a chance encounters on the sidewalk because it's all a part of the social fabric of this amazing neighborhood. With easy access to the rest of DC, AU Park is a convenient and welcoming place to call home. One of the local favorites in AU Park is called Turtle Park. It's amazing. There's plenty of space for the kids to run around. It's got an extensive playground equipment and tennis courts and basketball courts. And it's just one of the locals favorite places to go in AU Park. Really fun things you can do in and around AU Park is visit the American University Museum, which has contemporary art from all over the world, as well as documenting art history in and around Washington. Or you can visit the National Cathedral. It's, the architecture is just stunning. It's definitely a must see just to go stop by there. And if you want another park, there's also the Fort Bayard Park, which is super cute and has plenty to do. As far as restaurants are concerned, in and around AU Park and Tenley Town, there are around 90 restaurants, bars, and coffee shops. My favorite one is Millie's. Millie's is so much fun. They have inside and outside. The food is to die for, but my favorite thing about Millie's is the Frosé, which is frozen rosé. You gotta try it. 
Hey Park Tenley Town has a walk score of 79, a bus score of 68, and a transit score of 64. Obviously, the closer you are to Tenley Town, and you'll be closer to the Tenley Town Metro, the higher that number is going to be. I think it's pretty obvious how much I adore AU Park. It's literally one of my absolute favorite neighborhoods in DC. Let's jump in the car and go check out Chevy Chase. Not to be confused with Chevy Chase, Maryland, which borders it to the north, the community of Chevy Chase, D.C. is a friendly, close-knit community with a suburban feel and it's a perfect respite from the congestion, traffic, and tourism of much of D.C. The commercial strip along Connecticut Avenue, officially called the Avenue, consists almost entirely of local businesses catering to residents. In Chevy Chase, you'll be able to catch your breath as you enjoy wide swaths of green spaces peace and quiet. You'll often feel far removed from the city while being one of the most connected, convenient places to live on the East Coast. While Chevy Chase includes a sprinkly of condo and, ap and apartment buildings, the community is primarily comprised of tidy single-family homes surrounded by mature trees. The Chevy Chase community is known as being upscale, livable, and distinctive, and frequently, and frequently tops local best places to live lists. While most homes are constructed of brick and have small yards ideal for gardening, playing hide and seek or fetch with the kids and dogs, Colonials, Victorians, Tudors, and Cape Cods can coexist beautifully here. Chase provides an easy commute to downtown Washington by bus or metro if you get close to the Friendship Heights metro, although most residents drive for shopping and recreation beyond the neighborhood. Chevy Chase is home to three parks, Rock Creek, Lafayette Square, and Livingston Parks. Rock Creek Park is spectacular. It kind of reminds me of New York City's Central Park. Here you can find everything. You can find walking trails and equestrian trails, tennis, golfing. It just, you just don't feel like you're in the city anymore. And Lafayette and Livingston Park also have so many things to do with so many outdoor activities. Some of the really fun things to do in Chevy Chase, D.C. are visit the shops at Wisconsin Avenue or go to the iconic Avalon Movie Theater. And one of my all-time favorite things to do in Chevy Chase is visit the bookstore Politics and Prose, where they have readings by different authors and events, and it's just so cool. There are about 62 restaurants, bars, and coffee shops in Chevy Chase, D.C. One of my all-time favorites is called the Parthenon. It's on Connecticut Avenue. It's been there forever. Reminds me of when I was a child going there with my grandfather. It's a family-owned restaurant and the food is amazing. You gotta check out the Parthenon. Walk score for Chevy Chase is 57. The bike score is 53 and the transit score is 51. Chevy Chase is big, so that depends. If you are closer to Friendship Heights Metro, those numbers will go up. If you're interested in Chevy Chase, Maryland, check out my video right here on the neighborhoods of Chevy Chase, Maryland. There's some spectacular neighborhoods there as well. And if you have any questions about anything I talked about today, I am a licensed realtor in DC and Maryland. And if you're thinking about moving here, my team and I would love to help you. Call, email, text, morning, afternoon, night. We've got your back. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, Please subscribe and tell your friends. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.